Back on the Sports Max Zone, Novak Djokovic says the fact that he beat Rafael Nadal in the semifinals and then came from two sets down to conquer Stefano Tsitsipas in the final, all in the space of 48 hours, means Sunday's win in the French Open is in the top three of his career accomplishments. Ricardo Chambers has our story. So Chris Taylor, our tennis expert, uh, followed the tournament throughout, and he now joins us to recap what has happened over the past two weeks at Roland Garros. Let me start here, Chris, because um, as we now see, Djokovic is now one Grand Slam overall at 19 behind Federer and um, Rafa Nadal. Federer turns 40 years old in August. But you know, Nadal is only one year older than Djokovic is. So why is it that the general feeling is that Djokovic is going to sweep past them all and become you know, the all-time leader in a matter, in a matter of time? And it's just the consistency in which Novak has played, I think, throughout the, throughout the years and so on. As they say, he's already kept the Australian Open. And it's his resilience. It's like a man on a mission as well. I mean, twice he was down by two sets to nil in this tournament and was able to come back and pull things together. So, I mean, amazing performance by the Serb. And he's showing, I mean, the level of experience and maturity in his game. As you said, the fact that he could mention the Golden Slam means that he has this on his mind. He's thinking about it, thinking that it is possible. And you just have to wonder if this is one of the things that's driving him. I mean, the next Olympic Games, he will be, what, 38, going 39. So this one, if he's going to achieve that, I think this is the Olympics that he's, he's earmarked for that occasion. Yeah, you know, Chris, um, if we look at Nadal, as I just mentioned, he's 35 years old, just one year older than Djokovic is. But is there something about Nadal's game that makes him a more worn out player at this stage of his career in his mid thirties than say a, a, a Novak Djokovic? Well, I think he's progressed a lot further than most expected him to, including myself. I, I didn't think um, Rafael Nadal would have made it much past 30, if even 30 at all. Why? So I think he's done an amazing job. Yeah, why? Why, why, why didn't you think that way? It's, it's just a grueling play of Nadal. Um, puts his body through a lot of stress, doesn't at the, I mean, initially, never used to win a lot of points or uh, three points off of his serve. So his game was that the points were very intense, the rallies were very long. And how he wanted to motor around the court, if you look at the kilometers that he tra that he covers over a game, I mean, it's way above everybody else because he's running around the forehand to the backhand, looking to hit the forehand and so on. So I just think it's the nature. Yes. And as you've seen, he has had many an injury, but he's found a way to recover. Mm -hmm. It's not that I think that Novak Djokovic's game is very much different, but I think it's a little less grueling and more about flexibility and agility when it comes to Nova. All right, uh, quickly, we're running out of time, Chris. So um, let me put you fast forward a year from now. Would you confidently predict that Djokovic will be the leading all-time Grand Slam winner? It's very unfortunate, as you know, I'm a, I'm a serious Roger Federer man, but I, I would think that it's, it's certainly in his, in his boat right now. It would be amazing if Roger Federer was even to add to that 20 at this stage. Yes. And Novak at 34, playing the way he is, you have to think that barring injury, he has a couple more Grand Slams in him at least. Yeah, and, and, and quickly, on the women's side of things, uh, Barbara Krajcikova with the victory at Roland Garros on the women's side. Um, first major title success for her, but we are continuing to see some musical chairs in the women's division. And as we said, very unpredictable. But I did say, Lance, that, you know, her composure, her, her, the way she stays relaxed under pressure, considering she's been to a Grand Slam final in doubles and so on, won yeah. Grand Slam titles already. So she's been there, just not in the singles format. And I think that, that, that helped her in tough situations. Even when she was under pressure, she was able to relax, take things in stride and recover well. And even though she started many of the matches in a nervous manner and her serve was very iffy at times, the, the level of quality of her ground strokes, especially yeah. that backhand, was always bringing her back from trouble and so on. So great to see. Um, no surprise that she has done the double because, as I said, she's a renowned doubles player. Yes. Number one in the world in both mixed and, and, and straight doubles at some point. Mm -hmm. So the fact that she's added the singles quality to her game yeah. um, is really something amazing. Okay. And even when she won the title, she was so, it's almost as if she expected it. Yeah. Uh, Got to leave it there, Chris. Good talking to you as usual. Uh, Always. Tennis is on the home of champions. Of course, you catch the WTA Wimbledon build-up from the Bet One Open uh, tournament that runs on to the 20th and uh, will be live on Sportsmax from 4 a.m. 5 Eastern Caribbean time. Uh, all that on the home of champions. Back with more after this.